very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Grisman Aduloju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Salmon the UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact, for our meditation and discussion. We're considering the Word of God from the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse number 6. The Bible says, And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score. From our discussion yesterday, we saw this woman clothed with great glory, just like, like you, designed with great glory. You are a creature of glory. You are covered with glory. May your glory not be stripped. The glory of Job was stripped, and therefore Job lamented in chapter 19 of the book of Job. And in verse number 9, he said, He has stripped me of my glory. He has taken the crown from my head. The enemy is always looking for glory to strip and for crowns to remove. My prayer is that your glory will not be stripped. You will not be stripped of your glory, and your crown will not be removed from your head. Please do not forget that everyone that is a creature of glory, that carries great glory, and that is pregnant with great ideas, great potentials, great dreams, great vision, will face serious attack from the devil. The devil does not fight what he does not fear. A man that carries no glory will experience no fight, no struggle, no fight at all. He has nothing to threaten the enemy. He has nothing to threaten the devil. The devil is not threatened by a man who has no idea, a man who does not know where he's going, a man who does not know what he wants to do in life, a man who does not, does not know the great things he's made up of. The devil will not fight such a person because he is ignorant. He does not know who he is. But the devil fights a man who has a dream that he wants to bring forth, who has an idea that he wants to bath. The devil fights a man who carries glory. And so if you have been experiencing turbulence in your life, challenges and difficulties, understand it is because of the glory, the great glory that you carry, and it is because of the great ideas, great dreams that you have. The brothers of Joseph didn't have any problem with him. Even when his father gave him a coat of many colors, you will discover that the brothers of Joseph were not angry with him because of the coat of many colors that the father gave him. They became angry when he told them of his dream. They were angry at the dream of the sheave, their sheave bowing down to his sheave. Yet Joseph dreamt again, and he told them a bigger dream, the sun, the moon, eleven stars making obeisance to him. They became angrier with David. They became angrier with Joseph because of these dreams. And when they were going to sell him or throw him into the pit, they said, Behold, the dreamer cometh. They did not say, Oh, behold. This boy with coats of many colors is coming. No, this dreamer is coming. The world is against your dream. The enemy is against your dream. If you have a dream, if you have a great idea, get ready for a great fight. But the Bible says in our passage of consideration this morning, the woman fled. It is the responsibility of every man of destiny to flee. You have a responsibility to run. Run from all appearance of evil. Don't forget, a man that has something to offer his generation that is going to succeed in life must be a man on the run. He must be running with something. That is his dream, his vision, his passion, his ideas. Or he must be running from something, from someone who wants to kill that dream, like Herod. Or, and he must be running to something. You must be running towards a goal and you must be running from something. Running from someone, someone, running from something, running from sin. So the man of destiny is a man on the run. This woman was on the run. She fled into the wilderness. Now, what interests me most was that this woman fled to a, the place, a place prepared of God. And that's why our discussion is on the prepared place. God has a prepared place for you. Psalm 91 verse 1 beginning says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. God told Moses in Exodus chapter 33 verse 21 that there is a place by me and thou shalt stand upon a rock. There is a place by me you will stand upon a rock. The place of safety for us 
is that rock. And that rock is Christ Jesus. It was, it was the rock that followed the children of Israel all through their journey. Christ is our solid rock. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. Stand on Christ, the solid rock. That is the place of protection in Christ Jesus. In Psalm 84 verse 3, the Bible says, Yea, the sparrow hath found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even than altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, Christ Jesus, and the altar of God, the altar of prayers, is a place of protection, the altar of the Almighty. That is the place of protection. So this woman was taken to the place where God has prepared for her. And there are two major things that we note in this place of divine preparation for this woman. Number one, that th number one thing that we notice in the place is that it is the place of protection, the place of divine protection. The place that God has provided for you is a place where you will be protected. It is also the place of provision. Do not forget our passage of consideration. That is Revelation chapter 12, verse number 6 now. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God. God has prepared a place for you. And in this place, they should protect this woman and then feed her. It is the place of protection and the place of provision. My prayer for you is that you will not miss out of the protection of the Almighty God. God will always protect you. He will always defend you in the name of Jesus. The book of Job says, the Almighty shall be your defense. May the Almighty be your defense in the name of Jesus. It is a place of protection. It is a place of provision. We need these two in this wicked world. In this world of austerity, we need the protection of God. We need the provision of God. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 Paul wrote to the Philippians, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So in Christ Jesus, we have protection. In Christ Jesus, we have provision. Christ is our place of protection, our place of provision. He is the supplier of all our needs. He is the one that meets us at the very point of our needs. So our protection is sure in Christ Jesus our God Lord and our provision is certain. Run into that name. The name of the Lord, the Bible says, is a strong tower. The righteous run it in and is saved. You are saved in the name of Jesus and you are protected in his name. You are provided for in that name. Remain in that name and your provision will be guaranteed. Christ Jesus is the place of safety that God has prepared for us. And I encourage you to flee into that name, to run into that name. So you'll be protected, defended, shielded from the evil of this world so that Christ can be your Jehovah Jireh, God your provider. is our Jehovah Nisi, God our banner. May the Lord continually be your banner. May the Lord continually be your provider. In Jesus' precious name, amen. And let us pray. I'd like you to lift up your voice and say, Father, I run into the name of Jesus. I am saved. Make it your confession. I run into the name of Jesus. I am saved. I am protected. I am defended in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Almighty God, be my defense in the name of Jesus. Be the defense of my household, the defense of my spouse, my wife, my, my husband. Be the defense of my children in the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, I pray, be my defense. Defend me, defend my de destiny, defend my wife, my husband, defend my children. Be our defense, O God, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray and say, Father, let me be divinely protected in you and let my provision be sure in the name of Jesus. Father, let me be divinely protected in you and let my provisions be sure in the name of Jesus. Let blessings be given to me. Let bread be given to me and let my waters be sure in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal Father, in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray. Father, take me to my prepared place in life and in destiny. 
my place of glory, my place of blessings. Take me to that prepared place. Lift up your voice and pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will take me to my prepared place, the place of blessings, of glory, that you have divinely prepared for me. Prepare me for that place and take me into that place. Let me not miss my prepared place in the precious name of Jesus. Take me to that prepared place where my security, my defense is sure, where my bread is certain, where my provision is certain. Take me there. Take my wife there. Take my husband there. Take my children there to a prepared place. Take my ministry to a prepared place in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. I pray in the name that is above all names, that the hand of the Lord will rest upon you in the name of Jesus, that your life, your destiny, your great ideas, your children will be divinely protected from the evils or the negatives of this world in the name of Jesus. Your glory will not be devoured. Your children will not be devoured. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the devourers for your sake in the precious name of Jesus. And I pray that the hand of the Lord will take you to your prepared place. I pray the Lord will be your security and your defense. The Almighty will be your defense. And he will give you plenty of gold, plenty of silver. The Lord will bless you. Your provisions will be sure in the name of Jesus. You won't miss your allocations. The remaining days of this year, heaven will visit you. Heaven will kiss the heart concerning you and blessings will pour on you. The Lord will take you to your prepared place. You will not miss it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. I invite my esteemed listener to join us tomorrow for a glorious service at the Light Cathedral, Lighthouse International Christian Center. Time for the service is 8 a.m. If you are in Ologweru, you can join us beside Joannick Filling Station, Adjacent Food Co. at Nuke Bus Stop, Ologweru. Time is 9 a.m. You are at Ring Road. Join us at number 2, Animation Street, before Teju Hospital. Time is 9 a.m. Forward this message and share the link with your contacts. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on other social media platforms. My handle on all platforms is at Yemi Graceman. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program, I am Yemi Graceman at Duloju, wishing you a very glorious weekend and the Lord bless you. Oh.